we're going to create a timeline or an organizational chart with anchored objects and object styles. So I know we've all done this. Spacer, it's pink, right? We drag this, we try to get this, and we line it up. Oh my goodness, I gotta put it in the right spot. Okay, then we move this. Okay, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but instead of making a little spacer like this and manually spacing everything, we are going to make these little pictures anchored into our text, but we're gonna go even further than that, and we're gonna take this little picture and make an object style so it anchors exactly where we want it to go. The whole point of this is so that I can move these text frames around and all the pictures are gonna go with it. So here's what we'll do. I'm selecting these little blo uh, blocks of text, object style, I've already made it, talk to me later if you wanna show, I'll show you how to do it. Text frame object style uses the next style that was just talked with Julie, and I'll select the rest of these and apply my text. Now, this is an anchored object. I'll drag the little dot in and anchor it. It's square now, nope, it's a circle, and that circle moves to be placed exactly at the specific distance away from the bottom of that text frame that I want it. So again, drag that in, apply an object style which moves it to the position and rounds the corners. All right, so we've got this all done. We're pretending that this, I'm gonna reapply this, is all done. And now the whole point of this is so that I don't have to sit here and line them up and space them in between and make a little organizational chart. What I'm gonna do is select this, copy it, get my T tool, go to my type on a path and click and paste that in on this path. So I'll do it again, select my 19, copy it, double click, paste. Escape, select, copy, double click, paste. Now, if that's not enough, here, look, I've done all six of them. I'll go to my T tool, preparation. And now if I triple click and I get all of these selected, I can use my option key and increase my tracking to increase the space between them. But this is a curve. You'll see that the text is going a lot around, bleh, on the rainbow. So I'll go to my type menu and type on a path to find, I, I did that last time, of course, I deleted it. So I'll go here to type on a path and options is what I wanted. Instead of rainbow, I'll do a stair step. So I can have them sitting this way. Now, I can not limited to a curve, copy, I'll go to my type on a circle. I'll make sure that I have my type on a path, I'll click and hit paste, and my text goes around a circle, or I want it onto a line. I'll click and paste, and now I can click and select all and increase my tracking, and I can have accessible text. Wow. Wow. Right. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.